What's going on everyone? Before this video begins, I would love to thank OneShare for sponsoring this video. OneShare's new PDF Element Pro is one of the best PDF editors, if not the best PDF editor you can ever find on the market today. PDF Element Pro has so many tools that you can use to edit a PDF. For example, you can customize text, you can edit text, you can do some markup, you can sign, you can also use an amazing OCR text recognition tool, which basically where you can give a scanned document to the uh, editor and it will translate that into text that you can now edit. That's Mind blowing. I personally use this tool so much, I can't even remember the last time I used another PDF editor ever. So if you guys want to check it out, be sure to check the link in the description below. And I'll be using their tool for the entirety of this video and I'll showcase exactly how good it is as I do this SAT. So let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so I'm going to be going over all the tools that I will be using on this, using this PDF Alma Editor Pro as it completes the entire SAT section. So let's get right into it, guys, with the first one. My go to tool is a pencil, right? Because the pencil is so nice, I can just Really just write free form, write whatever I want, R-I-T-E-S-H. It's really easy to use. So I'll be using this as I do this entire um, practice non-count portion of the SAT. So for the first question, it's asking which of the following expressions is equal to zero for some value of x. Okay, so let's do um, x equals zero. So we're going to plug in x equals zero into every single equation and see if we can get zero. And there's no point trying to like graph these equations because that's just too much work. It's better if we just plug in a value and see which one gives us the result we want. So let's plug in zero, we get zero minus one, which is negative one absolute value, which is one. So one minus one is zero. There you go. We got, we tried A and we got it right. We don't have to try B, C, and D. Okay, we got A and we're done. All right. Now the next one, and the function above B is a constant. F of six equals seven, what is the value of F of negative two? Some people, especially when questions might be a little wordy, like you'll see maybe over here, I'll show you guys that there's other tools that might come in handy. So let's finish with number two. And the function above B is a constant. F of six equals seven. What is the value of f of negative 2? Okay, so we know f of 6, right, equals 7, right? So that means you plug in 6 to here, so we have f of 6 is equal to 3 over 2 times 6 plus b. We don't know what b is, right? So first you have to find b. So three, 6 times 3 is 18, divided by 2 is 9. So equal to 9 plus b, which is equal to 7, right? Because right here, so b equals negative 2. All right, so now we know that this is actually minus two. See how nice, see how nice it is just to be able to write right over it? Minus two. So value f of negative two would be, neg so it would be three times negative two, which is negative six, divided by two minus two. So that's negative three, right? This becomes negative three minus, ne minus two, which is plus negative two, so that's negative five, A. Hey. He's an eraser, guys, you know, in case you guys like to keep your, your sheet nice and clean, right? Oh, back to pencil. Okay. If x y solution to a system equation above, what is the value of y? Um, all right. So for this one, there's multiple ways you can do it. First thing you can do is you can just try to like solve manually, right? You can do x for y equals six, uh, four times y plus one equals x. Distribute, solve for one of the variables to so solve for y, for example. Um, so for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this approach where um, we're gonna multiply both sides by y. So we have x equals six y. Okay. So then we have 4y plus 1 is equal, oh, sorry, plus 4, because multiply the, by the 4, is equal to 6y. Uh, subtract the 4y from both sides, and we get 4 is equal to 2y, so y equals 2. Again, pretty simple. Um, this one is plug in negative 3x, so we have negative 2 times negative 3x, right, plus 5. This becomes 6x plus 5b. Super simple, guys. Not hard work. All right. Um, uh, real quick, by the way, let's, let's add a note real quick. Sometimes it's good to add a note. So add a note real quick right here. Um, sometimes it's easy to just plug in the answer. Plug in the value in the answer or in one of the answer choices. In the question. So in this case, the value is in the question. In this case, the value is in the answer choice. So you got you know sometimes be able to pick which one you want to plug it in for. And of course, if you guys are wondering like how I know all of this, how can I easily find the answer to these problems, check out my, check out my ST math course in the description below. Very cheap. 
Um, number five. Um, let's see. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? Um, all right, so for this, we just, we're just going to distribute. All right. So let's distribute the three first. So you have 6x plus 3, right, times 4x plus 1. Okay. So this becomes 24x squared, right? And you want to eliminate as you go. So we eliminate A, eliminate D. Enter is we enter outer term, right? Because it's be 12x, it's be 6x, which is 18x. So right there we have C as our answer. And now we move on. See, you don't need to like read the entire question. You don't need to finish all these steps. Like you don't have to do all that stuff. If A minus B over B equals three or seven, which the following must be true. Okay, let's let's quickly find one of the values. Um, so we can, since this is a single denominator, we can split the fraction up. So we have A over B minus one, because it would be uh, minus B over B, and equals three over seven. So if we add one to both sides, we get A over B is equal to 10 over seven. Okay. Now again, I'm gonna erase this a little bit because it's on that space for number seven. And now what we're going to do is um, mark up another nice tool that they have is the highlight. So whenever you're you know faced with these long wordy math problems, it's best to highlight the important information you need to know. So for example, right here, um, her longest run. Oh my God! Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, okay. and the longest run in week 16, the distance 26 miles. Okay, so week four, distance of eight miles, and week 16, distance of 26 miles. Which the following best describes how the distance Amelia runs changes. So now I'm gonna highlight the question itself between week four and 16 of her training schedule. Okay, so back to the pencil. So basically, another thing is, this type of stuff doesn't really matter, right? We cross this stuff out. It's not helping us. And that's why it's good to understand that these word problems, you can really trim it down a lot, right? Like half the stuff you don't need to know, all you really care about is the last, like the last um, uh, question, the last sentence itself, which is the question, and any of the details that can help you answer the question, which is in the middle. Um, all right. <clears throat> so uh, week four is distance of eight miles. Week 16 is distance of 26 miles. So what's the change? Um, what's the per, um, how many miles is she increasing every week? Well, let's do 26 minus eight over 16. So it's, you're trying to find a slope, right? The rise of a run. 26 minus eight is what? 18, 16 minus four is what? 12. So this is 18 divided by 12 is 1.5. So her distance for longest run is by 1.5 miles every week. It's increasing by that much. That's the answer to that. Again, super simple, not hard. Um, all right, so we're gonna finish this up. These last uh, from eight, nine, ten, and the next video will be eleven to twenty. So eight, which the following equation represents a line that is parallel to the line of the equation y equals negative three x plus four. Um, add uh, a quick uh, piece of important information. Parallel lines. And this is what you guys should do too on your practice test. Include some important notes. Um, same slope, different y intercept okay uh, text again and that's this again this is super like you know helpful very helpful tool that i'm using right here um pdf element pro if you want it be sure to check the link in the description below again amazing tool i've used been using it for like past three years now like since my first sponsorship with them i've been using it so <clears throat> we're trying to find which equation has a slope of negative three right okay so let's, let's do that real quick it looks like for this equation we have two y is equal to negative six x plus 15, right? You divide by two, you get y equals negative three x plus 15 over two. We don't care about that. All we know is we got the negative three slope. So we're done, A is the answer. Nine, if A equals two, what is the solution set of the equation above? All right, so we have square root x minus two is equal to x minus four. Um, square both sides. I should know, at this point, we can literally just plug it in, right? So if we put in six, we get six minus two is four, six minus four is two, right? So we have two is equal to two. So six works. If you plug in three, we get one over here and negative one over here, so three doesn't work, so A doesn't work. If you plug in two, we get zero over here and we get negative two over here, so two doesn't work either, so just D. 
And now, again, use the eraser. So if you guys haven't noticed, there's a bunch of other tools you can use too. Um, personally, I mainly use a markup and a text tool, depending on what uh, what PDF I'm editing. Sometimes I would use a form tool if I'm trying to you know uh, complete a form, like maybe a W9 form for work purposes or internship purposes, or um, I might use like a link to if I want to add a link to like a video like over here number eight if you found a video that explains how to do this well you might just want to add the link right here right personally I don't have to do that because I'm ST genius low key all right number 10 if t plus 5 over t minus 5 equals 10 what is the value of t all right so what we're going to do is we're going to distribute to both sides so we have t plus 5 is equal to 10 t minus 50 um Add 55 both add 50 both sides. Uh, oops. It's 90, so from the looks of it, D. All right, so boom, that's really it. That's all we have to do for this um, problem set. Uh, if you guys want to see me do more math problems and learn how I know all these tricks and tips, be sure to check out my ST Math video. If you want this tool that I'm using to you know edit this PDF literally as it is, then be sure to check out PDF Element Editor Pro. Link in the description below to everything. Thank you all for watching. Peace.